my name is Brian Foley. I'm a professor of education at Cal State Northridge. For the last four weeks, we've been teaching Scratch here at the Pio Pico Library in Koreatown. We've been doing this as part of a collaboration between the LA Makerspace and the public libraries. LA Makerspace is set up to provide opportunities for kids to develop their interests and that's going to be really important for kids as they develop their identity as makers and they learn how to build their own games and, how, and, and create things that are going to be fun for them. So today we were working on connecting the computer to the physical world by using things like the video camera, the sensors through the Pico board, getting commands through the Makey Makey devices. Anything that we could do to connect the physical world into the Scratch world. And so we, we just invited uh, kids from the neighborhood and anybody uh, who wanted to come to come out and learn Scratch. And so we did four weeks of progressive uh, game building and uh, story building, all kinds of things. And we had a great turnout. It was really a fun experience. It's really easy and fun. And what you don't know, you can figure out pretty easily. And I don't know, the colors make everything really nice because I like stuff <laughs> that's sorted into categories. It also teaches you, you know, like before you do this, you have to do this. So in a real a real coding experience, you know, it's it's not like everything's going to just start off like randomly. You have to build yeah. up. Yeah. And it teaches you like problem solving because you have to go back and see what went wrong and how can you fix it and you even need it in the first place. Yeah, there are so many great qualities about Scratch that help you even with everyday life mm -hmm. and it's, it's just a great program. There's so many cues for kids to help them learn about how to do the scripting, whether it's the color of the different blocks or the shapes of the blocks, and also how easy it is to, to connect with media, to bring in images and sounds. Uh, obviously they learned from the logo work in the 70s and 80s that you really wanted to be more about kids' lives and that the turtle was a little bit too abstract and isolated. And so now with Scratch, kids can build whatever they're into. It's really easy to, to integrate their imagination and then create, make it come to life with Scratch. When we used to play games, we used to play Atari and ColecoVision, we had no clue how that worked. And now these kids actually know how that works and, and how to create their own game, which is, I mean, that's, that's like awesome. I like the community of Scratch because they can show other kids their programs. My son has a Scratch account, and so now he has all these other friends who do Scratch, and they're saying, hey, how do you do this? How do you do that? So he has a, a bigger community than maybe 30 in a classroom. Now he has like 100 kids that, you know, appreciate his work. They'll say, oh, I saw your program. How, how did you make this thing do this? And then now they have a conversation. Oh, I did this, blah, 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 blah. And they're excited about it. I think our future jobs and the future workforce, the companies are gonna ask you, do you know coding? I think that's gonna become something part of your resume because that's what they're gonna be doing. I mean, companies are gonna need people to do those kind of things, so.